Welcome back to another video guys and today's video is going to be something a bit different. We're going to be covering high ticket drop shipping on AliExpress and eBay today, applicable for people who are running Facebook and Google ads as well. I'm going to be sharing my personal experience with high ticket drop shipping and how you can go out and find high ticket winning products. I'm going to be sharing the methods that I've used in the past and I'm going to be giving you some recommendations on niches you can dive into with regards to high ticket items. Now many people have different thoughts on what is classed as a high ticket drop shipping item. For me personally, I like to think a high ticket item is a product you can sell for at least $300. Some people think it's something you can sell for over $2,000 but obviously it is very subjective. For me personally, I'm going to focus on products that you can sell for at least $300 on your Shopify store using Facebook and Google ads to get those orders. Now just before we jump into it, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to drop me a message on Twitter or Instagram or you can leave a comment down below but jumping into today's video we are going to need Google Keyword Planner here even if you're using Facebook this is a very good tool to use just to verify demand for certain products and it allows you to see competition and things like that. Now just before we hop over to eBay which is where most products are, that are high ticket come from we're just going to talk a little bit about AliExpress and the problems you could face if you decide to drop ship high ticket items from AliExpress. Now obviously 99% of the products in AliExpress are stored and shipped directly from China and a lot of these high ticket items usually are big bulky heavy items so the shipping costs are going to be very expensive. Shipping is going to be very slow as well and when you're charging such a high price for a product these are things that could really impact the customer experience. So unless you're drop shipping a high ticket item that's fairly small and compact and that has quick shipping I would avoid AliExpress. One thing I wanted to um, suggest this video as a potential product idea is a pizza oven. I've actually got one myself at home and I paid around 450 pounds for my pizza oven um, so that's like what 500 and 550 dollars again big bulky you can obviously order them here from AliExpress and some of them are quite small some of them will be able to come apart and be packaged very efficiently so a product like this you can see costs around 135 pounds this particular version is stocked in the United Kingdom and ships from within the United Kingdom so delivery is about two to ten days which is really really good so that is a trick you can use with AliExpress I haven't even adjusted the search parameters here but as I'm from the UK these are all of the ones that ship to the UK so if I click ship from the UK you can see these are all of the products here that are stored and stocked within the UK same if you're doing USA drop shipping your AliExpress will be obviously set to ships to the USA and you can do the same thing by changing up here to the United States and we'll have a look at that in just a moment but you can see there is a good amount of products here that are stocked within the UK and when it comes to high ticket drop shipping this is something you must be looking out for because if you're shipping products like this from China you're going to have a very bad time with customer complaints chargebacks and potentially even product quality as well whereas if you can get this delivered to your customer in about four or five days that is just going to be very very good so if we quickly just change our AliExpress here to ships to the USA and then we'll see what comes up uh, just before we hop over to eBay. So you can see a lot of things here. Again, seven day delivery. If we just click on the same product here um, for USA shipping and change this again to United States, you can see again, this product is a product that is stocked in the USA as well. So delivery is seven day shipping. It is incredible. It's so, so good for products like this. And in terms of selling price, I know a few of you might be wondering how much are you supposed to sell a product like this for? If you're doing Facebook, you don't necessarily need to be as competitive with pricing, but if you're selling this product on Google, you will want to check your competition, but don't worry about being the cheapest. So as I'm based in the UK, I will need to use this website that allows me to perform a Google search from the USA. So we just search pizza oven and have a look at the competition with regards to pricing. You can see you've got $600.799. You know, we're into the thousands here for these one. Obviously, some of them are quite different, even the cheapest one here. I'm not sure what that is, but it's not quite the same as what that AliExpress product is. But I mean, for this product here, cost price at a $143, I think you could easily sell this for $320, $350. And especially with Google guys, I've mentioned this a million times before, a good strategy is to start with a fairly low price so it allows you to get those conversions in and gradually over time increase the price you sell your product for. 
For me, I do that a lot and it never harms my conversion rate. Obviously, to an extent, you couldn't charge $300 for this product and then charge $700. Increasing it by 10% every month or so, you'll eventually find yourself charging a higher price for the product and maintaining a good conversion rate. Now, just before we hop over to other examples, I'm just going to show you the search demand for pizza oven on Google Keyword Planner here. And you can see this particular search term and all related search terms have very, very good search volume. And to be honest, the bid ranges are quite good as well. They're not up to like three, four, five dollars. They're as low as 50p or 50 cents, which is really, really good. It will allow you to get a lot of traffic for a decent price. So for me personally, if I was launching a high ticket dropshipping store today, this is definitely a product and niche I would be looking into. And that is mainly because you can get away with charging a very decent price for these products a good markup and mainly due to the fact that if even if you're in the UK or USA a very good looking product like this is stocked in both of those countries and this will be delivered to your customers in basically a week or less and like I said a very decent looking product comes with a few extra accessories you can see here and a carry case now obviously the gist of this video is just to give you guys product ideas and niche ideas for high ticket drop shipping if you've got any questions about the process itself like I said just drop me a message or drop a comment down below I'll try my best to answer as many as I can now moving over to eBay drop shipping from eBay is slightly different to Aliexpress as you will most likely have to be placed placing your orders one by one, manually entering your customer's address and things like that. And please, please note that not all eBay sellers accept drop shipping orders. So before you even think about adding a product to your Shopify store from eBay, make sure to message the seller just to make sure they support drop shipping and that they won't include things like pricing, invoicing, receipts, and their, and their store name essentially within the product package because you don't wanna be selling something for $500 and your customer receives the package from eBay that you've done obviously the order yourself from and they'll see you've paid about 150 or 200 dollars for it that won't end well so please please make sure that you're messaging these eBay sellers with regards to drop shipping from my own personal experience around 75 percent of the sellers I message do accept drop shipping which is obviously really good I only work with eBay sellers that stock the items in the country I'm selling so if I'm drop shipping to the USA I'll make sure that these products are stocked in the USA and same goes for the UK now I'll leave a comment down below I'll try and pin it as the top comment I'll leave you my message template that I send to all eBay sellers if I'm looking to add their product they're very very good usually at getting back to you quickly usually within 12 hours or so so if you are needing a template to use to message these eBay sellers about drop shipping just copy and paste the thing down below and then obviously change out some of the placeholders with the seller's info or the product you're looking to sell now one of the most popular high ticket niches that you definitely can still see success in in 2022 and beyond is homeware things like beds bed frames sofas those sort of things obviously very big bulky items but there are a huge variety on eBay that are very unique, very sellable as well. For example, this LED light up bed with a light up headboard, only $209, which is, you know, really, really good. Now, please be careful. Once you click the item, obviously, there are they will show how many are in stock. So there are only six available at the moment. If you think you're going to start to scale, it's probably worth contacting the seller again to see if they can get some stock in advance. That's quite a, that's probably one of the downsides of, drop shipping high ticket items like this stock control can be an issue because they are big items and what essentially these sellers do they are shipping these items from china to a usa warehouse where they will hold that stock there and then ship them to the usa customers so 90 percent of the time these products are still made in china but they ship them in bulk over to usa warehouse so please make sure in terms of the stock level and just say perhaps to the seller can you cope if i were to sell you know two to three of these products a day because you don't want to start selling a ton of these and not being able to fulfill your orders because again that will lead to chargebacks and things like that so anyway, we'll just use this product here as a quick example before we go into some other niches, just again to show you and verify what we could potentially sell this product for. And with eBay, I noticed the product images are usually of very good quality. I mean, you can even see here, these are brilliant, brilliant product images, especially this one here, actually. That would make a great product pick chart for Google Ads. So I've just searched LED bed on Google, and you can see here a wide variety of products come up before. I mean, we've all seen beds like this sort of thing here. But you can see the average price, you've got 430. 
it doesn't really appear i mean 380 the cheapest price is about 400 dollars which of course is half the price of what this is going to be costing you if i was jumping into this now and i was going to sell this product i'd start the price at around 390 get a few conversions in and then gradually increase the price because i personally think you could sell this product for close to if not $500 and just going back to the stock thing if you do notice yourself scaling fast and getting sales very quickly for, for this product you can always contact the seller maybe make an arrangement so you do the orders off of eBay so you save a bit of money in terms of fees then you can potentially ask them you know can you order some stock in advance so you don't have to make the item out of stock on your website those are obviously things to consider as you scale up with this high ticket drop shipping business but they are but I'm telling you them now just so you are aware to basically make sure you keep an eye out for the current stock availability. But you can see here for this item, they've sold 337 of these beds, which makes me think they are regularly updating their stock. So you shouldn't ever really be without stock for this particular product here. So we verified the fact you can sell this product for pretty much double the price you are paying for it. Now, if we just go to Google Keyword Plan and just have a look at the LED bed search volume, you can see three and a half thousand per month, which you might not think is a lot. Some high ticket products that I've personally seen success with only have one or two thousand searches a month. But if you can do your SEO right and start appearing in other search terms, obviously have a lot of search volume. Obviously LED beds you can see has a fairly low volume, but if you're appearing generically in just general bed searches, I'm sure if we just take a look here, you can see bed frame, for example, 370,000 per month. If you're appearing within these high demand search search terms because you've used the correct SEO terms with your product title and description. This is where you enter the market and be able to appeal to a mass audience. So please don't panic like then if you see, oh, there's only 3,000 searches a month. This LED bed, for example, it still fits within the bed frame category. So it's not just going to be the 3,000 monthly searches. It can be all the way up to 370,000. So make sure you look at that just to look at slightly different angles for these particular products. So I hope that little bit of information helps here. Now, I've given you a couple of product examples already. I don't want this video to drag on too long. So I'm just going to throw here a few extra examples of niches just before we end the video. Another one is garden furniture. Again, you've probably seen other people cover this. Very, very popular. Even a simple garden furniture set like this, $170, you know, three piece in terms of seats with an extra table. So a four piece set here. Very good product image again, that is key. If they've got videos of the products, even better. But I mean, these images here are really, really hate, you know, high quality. They make the product look really good as well. And for $170, again, you could easily charge double to begin with for this particular product. Obviously, we're moving into winter now. People will still be buying products like this, but if you have these products on your site ready for next summer, you could see some really good results with Google and Facebook. My personal recommendation would be to sell products like this on Google and then use Facebook to retarget those people because they're not impulse buy products. There's gonna be a lot more thought that goes into a purchase like this because it is expensive. So making sure you are retargeting these visitors on other platforms like Facebook will definitely increase your chances of getting a sale. So we've already covered beds and sofas. We've already covered pizza ovens. Another good thing is coffee machines. You can see just from the keyword planner here, almost a quarter a million searches a month for coffee machine. And again, very decent bids here. Very cheap. So again, you're not going to be paying too much per click for a product like this. And this is a product that you could potentially sell upwards of a thousand dollars as well you can see seven hundred dollars nine hundred obviously there are different varieties you've got cheaper ones that are around 133 dollars when there is a good variety of products on ebay that is definitely something to take as a positive because it probably means less likely there's going to be competition for the exact same product on google now one final thing i want to mention before ending this video is gtin numbers with regards to google merchant center most eBay products will have these numbers here. So you want to make sure you're entering the GTIN for these eBay high ticket dropshipping products you are selling because a lot of the time, Google and Google Merchant Center will require this number. 99% of the time with AliExpress products, you won't need a GTIN. Sometimes it will give you a little uh, orange warning in your Merchant Center. Google is basically saying with that, they think you should apply a GTIN, but you don't need to. You can still run 
shopping ads to that product. But with eBay high ticket drop shipping, a lot of the time it'll be a red warning because they know this product needs a GTIN number. And all you need to do is find this in your uh, eBay listing. We're just taking this L-shaped corner desk, for example. All you need to do is just go down to the item specifications thing here. Look out for the UPC number, which you can see is this number here. And then you would just copy and paste this into the GTIN section of your product on your data feed app on Shopify, or you can now do it directly within Google Merchant Center. And once you apply this, it will literally take about five or 10 minutes for that to register. And then the product will be approved and ready to go. So I hope that bit of information is useful. Make sure you check out the comment down below if you need something to copy and paste to these eBay sellers. And I hope you have found some product inspiration going into Q4 for high ticket drop shipping. You don't necessarily need to make an entire new store to sell products like this. If you have got a fairly general store, just try one or two of these products. There's no harm in doing that. But as advertising costs are getting more expensive, this is definitely something to keep an eye out on for the future and moving forward. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.